this is Christy and today I wanted to share with you some travelers notebooks that I've been working on uh, my husband has suggested that maybe I look into opening up my own Etsy shop and selling these and the little paper clips that I've um, been making I'm not quite sure so I would love 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 to hear your feedback on what y'all think do you think these are Etsy worthy or you know, these are nice little projects and, and, and great to share with some friends or whatever. Um, like I said, I would love the feedback. So go ahead and comment below. Um, give me a thumbs up. Hopefully you're going to love this video and my projects that I made. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So let's get started. All right, this is the first one that I made. A cute little owl paper clip. And this is actually a charm that came off of an air freshener that I got from Bath & Body Works. It broke and I have saved it this whole time, just waiting for the perfect spot to use it. There's the front of it. It says, Great Story. And these little notebooks right here were already pre-made and I got them from Michaels. They were 99 cents and I believe they were 40 cents off. And they had like a little Paris theme on them. And what I did was I just covered them with colorful cardstock and some washi. And I made little pockets inside of each of them. So there's the first one. I added these cute little raised stickers. There's the second one. Another cute little paper clip. A little note that says hello inside. And I made this little bookmark with an old shoestring that I had. And there's the last one with some more little raised stickers. And this little camera that I laminated. So there's the first one. This is the second one that I made. I used, um, this one is all done in different shades of red. A cute little ladybug with little wobbly eyes. Um, these came in a Michael's grab bag, and I believe I got this little locket and key charm from Michael's. I'm, I'm not really sure. So there's the opening of this one. Um, one problem that I do tend to have is that my washi doesn't stick all the way sometimes. Um, if anybody has any suggestions on what I can do to prevent that or make it stick better, please let me know. I would love it. What I did here was I made a little pocket and I put some little scrap pieces of paper in here and a little travel um, die cut that matches this one. So there's the first pocket, or the first notebook, I'm sorry, and I have some black lined paper and some graph paper in this one. Here's the second one with some chili peppers and I have some black lined paper, graph paper and notebook paper. I made this little cute bookmark to go with it with the chili peppers on that. And the last one, same kind of paper inside. And there's the back of this one with a little compass. So there's the second one. Um, red's my favorite color, so I really like that one with all the, the red theme. This one I made the other night and I just thought it was so stinking sweet. I got these little charms from Hobby Lobby from their clearance aisle and I made this cute little bow paper clip with some stickers and a little gold paper clip. These first three are laminated. Um, I used some Project Life cards um, with a little mason jar. Sometimes I just want to bottle you up. This one's kind of a vintage looking um, light and airy traveler's notebook. I made a little pocket here with some extra paper and some washi from the Dollar Tree. I laminated these cute little vintage buttons and a, um, a tag and stuck them in this little pocket. Here's the first notebook and I made a cute little shaker to go on the front of it. Put some washi around it and coordinating paper. I used some vintage looking card stock. Kind of looks like tea stained. In this one, here's the second one, the coordinating paper again, and a cute little tag that says thanks. The same kind of paper throughout. And the third one, the washi and the coordinating paper. 
And there we go. And this paper clip actually came from Nadia Creations. She sent me in a happy mail. And I just thought it was so sweet. And it just really kind of fit the theme of this notebook. And so I added that one. And there's the back to this one. And these are all different sizes. I'm not really going by a certain standard size of notebook. Just kind of whatever I have on hand and whatever I'm really feeling at the moment. This is the last one that I made last night and I'm absolutely in love with this notebook. Um, I went to Tuesday morning and I've got these packs of paper. They were $1.99 and I believe they were on clearance 20% off. So I got them for like $1.40. And they are paper collection, five sheets, and you're supposed to use them for like decorations and stuff. But they are really, really thick, heavy, nice paper. And so I used a pack just like this for this one. What I did here was I also got a little pack of, um, it came with papers and charms and twine and string from Hobby Lobby. And so I added all of those right here at the top with a little paper brad and instead of elastic like I had used on the other ones I used this piece of twine with a little dove and a key because I felt that it matched a little bit more than um, than the elastic this like I said this paper is really thick so I did not laminate it um, right here I added a little pocket to put stuff in this is the first notebook with kind of this ridged paper, really pretty, and a doily, and some little headers right here. I took a piece of the paper right here, the scraps that I had, and added that into it. I have some tan lined paper, and just some regular card stock, and this is that vintage tea stained looking paper again, different sizes. And here's the second folder. Once again, I use the same paper that's on the front and the back inside. Um, and I added a little doily and a little die cut right there. Same kind of paper. There's the back. Now this um, came in the package of Tuesday, from Tuesday morning with the die cuts and all of the trinkets and everything. And I just made it into a little folder. So whoever got this one could just add whatever they wanted to. And this cute little little pocket right here, this little envelope. Um, and I just held it together with some washi. Because of this washi I got from the Dollar Tree and it holds really, really well. And here's the last one, the last folder. Um, I took scraps from the other paper and just added right here on the sides. Same kind of paper throughout all three of them. And this is another little folder that I made, the same as the one inside. Held it together with some washi and I stuck it down with washi so you can flip it, you can add things to it, and then there's the back. Um, I do have to say that I believe this one is my favorite. So please guys, if you have any comments or suggestions on what I could do to improve these, um, I would love to hear from you. And go ahead and give me your thoughts about opening up my own Etsy shop. Um, I'd really, really love some some feedback to see if, if it's a good idea or not. I'm just not, not quite sure. But thank you so much for letting me share my latest projects with y'all. I appreciate you watching and subscribing to my channel, Anchor Life 5. Until next time, guys. Bye.